<laughs> I had to fix my camera because my light was a little bit dim. Hey, I'm Jasmine. I am the creator of Adorn Light Elements, your new skincare supplier. Make sure you subscribe by hitting that button below and also go ahead and tap that bell so you can be the first to get this light. Every, every week on Fridays, I'm going to upload a video to help you on this journey. Why do we dim our light? Why do we want to live a boring life? Why do we want to live in the background? So when you dim your light or you allow your light to be dimmed, you're basically signing up to be invisible. You're saying that the spirit that God has gave you matters none. I don't know, to me, that sounds pretty boring. Look, we're gonna just get right into it. So here are the seven most toxic ways we dim our light. First on the list of the most toxic ways that we dim our light, we have a lot to say. I know a lot of y'all have heard of the saying, she got a smart mouth, he got a smart mouth. The irony in that is, isn't that a good thing? So I used to think that when I was young, like, I got a smart mouth, like, oh, I'm smart. <laughs> and then here comes the consequences. So when you have this light, when you have this light bulb that click in your, your head and you want to say something, here comes those thoughts coming in. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Now, if you say this, is this going to offend this person? If you say this, is that going to cause too much attention to yourself? If you say this, will you still be able to walk into this setting tomorrow later without any like repercussions and it's pressing your mind to say something but you keep it to yourself and then you drive home and you be like dang I should have said something I don't know why I didn't I don't know why I did not say one thing I can definitely attest to is when I said the wildest things, the most random things that's been on my mind and I just say it to a possible like a new friend or a new mate or you know, family. Let me tell you, I sometimes got some surprising reactions of like, me too. Or wow, let's talk about that. I've been looking into that. I've been interested in that. So, a big thing with me was like, you see, I got on my, my lapis because, yeah. But speaking my truth sometimes meant hurting somebody else. And that was okay. It's a thing of protection in a way that our elders have taught us that TV has taught us, that society and culture has taught us. Say what you gotta say. Shake the room a little bit. That's what you're here for. Number two of the most toxic ways that we dim our light, to make others comfortable. Like, one thing that I had kinda got a good, a good reputation for growing up. I used to send Shanice Wisdoms, and so that's my middle name. And Shanice Wisdoms were every morning I would send it to most of my class. And I would just tell them encouraging words that was on my mind that came through spirit. No, I was not even in tune with my whole spiritual walk, but I loved it. Like, I just loved spreading encouragement and then people would come to me and say hey like could you write this person anonymously and they're going through this they're going through that and I really just want you to like 
give them some encouraging words. So yeah, I was doing this for a couple years and I was really into it. I loved it. Um, people, most, most women of course, but I would send it to some men and that is what made me stop because I got feedback that it was annoying. And it hurt me because I felt like I made them uncomfortable. I felt like I needed to just stop completely. I said, you know what? I bet everybody feels this way. I know. Like, I don't really know nothing anyway. <laughs> you know, just all these words, like all this self doubt from this one spirit that really was a fan that I found out long after. Okay, we ain't gonna talk about it. But they were a fan. And I allowed them to dim my light to make them more comfortable. If someone is uncomfortable, if someone does not like your couch, and it says, it, your couch is just too uncomfortable for me. Do you go buy another, uh, a whole nother couch? No. No. I like my couch. My couch is just fine. And if it's not your fit, get yours up and go. <laughs> like, you know... I was a child. I grew into that. I understood like a lot more now than I used to, but never allow anybody to tell you how to walk to make them more comfortable. That sounds like a you problem. That sounds like a you problem. <laughs> yeah, turn that light up. Turn it up all the way. Make sure they sit in front row to watch too. <laughs> gotta move on. We gotta move on. So the third reason of why we allow our light to be dim is just from past experiences. Yeah, most of us are taught to be strong, to keep moving, to not allow things to slow us down. When in all reality, all you're doing is carrying it around. Like you're dragging that in your energy field. That's dimming your light. I remember one of my good friends, um, we were talking and just a normal day. And they, they started to stare at me in my eyes. And I was like, what, you know? And they said, you look so sad. I'm like, I'm good, you know, I'm good, I don't know, like, I'm straight. And they was like, no, it's something. I'm like, okay, mm. you know. What I truly believe that was, was all of my trauma, all of the things that I allowed to be done to me, and even the things that I had no choice that I was in. I allow that to carry with me and dim my light. And the eyes are always the window. The eyes are always the window to what's going on. And I believe my spark and my shine had left thinking about the part of my life that someone told me I look sad I was very sad I was miserable I had went through miscarriages and majority of people did not know about like I was just having a miscarriage and going to work the next day and you know just acting like 
this is a normal thing like like literally i would just chunk it up to life like things like this happen <laughs> you know things like this happen and you just have to keep rolling you have to keep going like I can definitely say I hate that I waited so long to get the help that I needed and the support that I needed because I would have definitely been through a lot less. Please do not be so strong that you allow your light to be dimmed for trauma. Being vulnerable is the strongest thing you could ever do. Okay, okay, let's shake that off. Four. Number four. Of why we allow our light to be dimmed. We just don't believe in ourselves. So yes, we have talked about the things in our life that past trauma and past experiences that wound that we haven't, you know, got healed yet. But let's talk about how we really feel about ourselves. Let's talk about that. We are really our worst critic, like, You should look at something that you do, and even if it's nasty, say, I did it. I cooked this. <laughs> I did not know how to turn on the stove at the beginning of this hour, and now I know how to turn on the stove. You know, like, God, we have to celebrate ourselves more. We have to believe in ourselves more. Because then, yeah, like, that light is gonna be rusty and dusty. It's rusty and dusty, like, cause you don't even believe in yourself. Like, I really don't wanna stay on this topic too long because it speaks for itself. But you make a piece of art, you cook something, you, you, you accomplish something. And you don't even give yourself that credit. Oh, it was, it was just luck. Oh, I did the, ch was the chicken good, guys? Let me know if the chicken is good because, you know, I don't know if I know how to cook chicken. You've cooked chicken before. Why? Why do you not feel like it's, why? Why do you need that validation? You have to believe it or no one else will. Nobody else is going to believe in nothing you do if you don't believe in yourself. All right, and so let's to piggyback. We're going to just piggyback on number four, but the fifth way. And this one is annoying. The fifth way that we dim our light is we're too focused on outside light. We're too focused on distractions. Because we literally spend hours on social media comparing our life to other people and celebrities that we don't know. Imagine what you could have done in those two hours that you literally been looking at Jada and Will Smith relationship chaos. Like, do you know these people? I don't know I don't but I did find myself in the rabbit hole oh she crazy oh look at oh uh. none of this matters none none of this matters none to my life why am I so invested you're invested because it's a distraction it's easy it's so much easier to just look on social media and see what everybody else is doing versus you actually getting up and doing something right like why why not like i have a whole day off i'm a chill so you have a whole day off from a job that you give yourself to because it's not yours you're giving your yourself to this job and then you have a whole day off and you're doing nothing for yourself. You're on social media. You're watching 
Netflix all day. It's nothing wrong with relaxing and recharging. It is nothing wrong with that. But anything in excess is bad. Like anything. If you're doing it all day or for hours and you know you have something to do related to your life, because it's a little bit more effort that requires. Like, I got some bills that I need to pay, and I don't really, I don't really feel like, like, Nobody is going to save you. Those celebrities, they're not going to send you no money from looking at their life. Put on your shades. Stop being so distracted. And get back in tune with the star player. The sixth way that we dim our light, you're just shy. You're an introvert. Like, I don't know, and you guys can attest to this if this is you, but... Sometimes opening up and shining for me feels like I'm giving away a part of myself. Even though I have so much to give, so I'm still giving, I'm still holding space for other people. But when it's time for my space, I'm very protective of it. No, you really have to step outside that box. God has brought you here to share. You're not here alone, so that no, that in itself tells you that you're here to share. Because you're not here alone. You don't have, even if you're shy and an introvert, you don't have to be the life of the party. But find that person or that group of people that you can feel, because you have a, a strong intuition as an introvert. So feel if you're able to share yourself with those people and... And be authentically you without a worry. The seventh most toxic way. Yes, we are at the end. The seventh most toxic way that we dim our light. Well, it's a conflict of interest. So a conflict of interest is basically just identifying with another side than a previous side that you identify with. So... I don't know if uh, most of you guys, I'm sure, have to deal with this a lot with work. Your career, your job, the thing that might be your primary um, financial support, right? You know that they are wanting to, wanting you to promote and push a certain principle or mission statement then you have to kind of put on that mask. You're dimming your light for the money or for the position, for the power, whatever it is that you're doing it for, for the stability, whatever, you know. We all do it. But how many times have you been doing something at work and you're you're, you're reading off of a script basically that you know you might not necessarily agree with and some day, some days like you just want to be like you know what all of this is crap this is all crap <laughs> this is crap look I'm going to tell you how I really feel let me tell you instead of spending all your money cause look I'm going to be one that's real I'm going to be like okay look you, you can spend your money on this medicine and it's a recommendation and it does work. Or, or you can get you some natural herbs or you can grow you some natural herbs, you know, and invest in yourself because that is an investment. You're investing in your health and you're investing in yourself and you're literally healing yourself. Not to say that everything does it, you know, if you feel like the profession or the man that you're with, the woman that you're with, the friends that you have, if you feel like 
your views are starting to change, if you feel like your beliefs are starting to change because you might have been through something different than than this person or this um, place that you work at or the friends or whatever it might be, it is okay to change your mind. It is okay to say, you know what? I'm not even sure about that anymore. Because I experienced something different. Don't ever feel like because of the time that you've invested into something or the the amount of weight and experience that you've been with, been through with this. You know, people have been with companies for years. Years. But they don't like the politics. But they stay. So don't ever feel like you have to stay in anything that doesn't align with who you are in this present state. We made it through the end. Thank you guys for listening to this spiel. Now I want to hear from you all. Comment below. Let me know what you think. What ways do you dim your light? What ways do your family dim their light? What ways that your friends dim their light? Don't forget to subscribe and tap that notification bell so you can be adorned.